Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on a free picks. Imagine, Imagine is really, really cool. Um, it's something that is, uh, I think, pretty effective if you don't have variations of an image. So I'm going to show you guys how you can use that and how you can get these amazing variations. So, of course, first upload an image. And right here, you can see I've got this uh, image of a guy that I generated in Mid Journey. And what's cool about this is that it's actually going to go here on the left. You can see it's custom. It's going to be able to uh, generate a description of what it is. So, whatever vision model is behind this software, I'm not entirely sure, but it's able to look at this and then think, okay, what is the prompt? And then it's able to go ahead and give you several variations on that, which is really cool if you're trying to be creative about a certain project or you just have an image that isn't AI generated and you're trying to be a little bit more creative. Now, what you can do as well, you can see there's multiple different styles and you can see there's also wild, subtle and vivid. So subtle, you can see right here, um, is very, very similar to this. So this one is not going to change a lot much from the original image. It just gives you subtle changes. And then of course, wild, you can see, is going to give us a lot more changes um, and it's just a lot more different from the thing. Now, the thing I actually like about this is that, you know, you do get a lot of different variations. Like you get loads. If you just keep scrolling down, you'll keep getting more and more variations. I'm not sure what they're using, but it is really, really cool to do that. Um, and I think you can also change this. So you could put like, um, you know, 45 year old Asian woman in here and you can see you're able to like use that pose to then go ahead and be creative if you wanted a certain style. Um, and of course, I think you could write, write, could, could you write in a um, okay, so we can't write, but we can actually um, put like a colorful backdrop. And then um, you can see now we've got a colorful backdrop. And then we could also put vivid. Um, we could also put vivid right here. And then this changes it. And then you can see, I'm not sure why she has a beard right there. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it, it's fascinating on how you can do it. But like I said, you can change it back or you could, yeah, you could put custom. You could put anything you wanted in there. Um, and then of course, as well, the, my favorite feature about this is of course the styles. So I could go ahead and put this uh, as a cartoon. I could go ahead, uh, cartoon, and I click reimagine. And then you're going to see that this uh, looks really cool. We've got cartoon here. And I think it does give it a little bit more cartoonic. You can see right there that that is really cool um, in terms of the style. And then, of course, if I put the guy back, if I could uh, um, if I could put the guy back, if I'm going to just, yeah, like I said here, you could just take this image and then instantly you could get a bunch of different styles. So you could put cartoon here. Um, and then, of course, you can see you get a lot of cartoon versions of that guy. Um, of course, uh, it's pretty cool. If you do subtle as well, this is going to be a lot better for you. So if you do subtle, you can see you're basically getting cartoon versions of that guy. Um, and it just simply loads up a huge, a huge different amount of uh, variations. And I think if we go wild here, it's going to be a little bit more stronger. So subtle, vivid and wild. Um, essentially, the wild is just, you know, controlling your image more and it just gives you a lot more uh, creativeness. Of course, there's so many different things that you could do. You could do pixel art, surreal, fantasy. You could go to pixel art. I mean, for example, you can see that this style right here, that is how it looks. Now, the thing is about this as well, the reason why I actually like this so much and I'm actually going to be using this is because this allows for quick and easy style transfer. This is actually free to sign up. Um, it's just simply the beta. They, they've got like a, a lot of other different tools. But the thing I like about this is that it doesn't just work for images. So I'm going to show you some other features. You can see right here, we've got a McLaren 720S. Um, and this is a supercar and it's on the street in London. Um, and this is an AI generated image, but you can see right here that you can actually just do this with pretty much anything. And it says orange sports car parked in a city street lined with yellow leaves, a sleek white sports car, yada, yada, yada. It basically understands the entire description. And of course, we can do uh, different things with the style. We can put this to, let's say we wanted to say digital art. We could do that. Um, wondering how that's going to look. And then for an orange street car, we could say um, a red sports car. We could, of course, change that. Um, and it, of course, yeah, you can see uh, now that that's like digital art, we could also do no style. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that. Do no style. Just keep it. Just want to change the color. And then you can see you can kind of get like a lot of variations from a single image. So I think something like this is really, really good because it allows you to be creative and control that creativeness in a really quick way. And I think free pick is a... Uh, it's, it's a pretty underrated tool, you know? So something like this, I, I I would say like, you know, use it if you're trying to brainstorm different things or if you're trying to like, you know, if you had, let's say I had an image of this car and I wanted to get it in a different style, I wanted to get it in a different color, I could use this. If I had an image of a person and then I wanted it in digital art, a sketch or anything like that, I could instantly click one of these and instantly get it and I could just reimagine it. And what's also cool is I can break down a prompt and then I could use this in other AI image generators. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe.